Um, Andrew Serres is an important figure to know in the, in the history of, of film culture because uh, he brought to America an idea about movies that originated in, in Europe, in France. And this idea is called the, the, we've kind of discussed it before, called the auteur theory. Are you guys familiar with the auteur theory? Well, the, the idea that filmmakers work the same way that authors, that novelists work, and that they, in the act of uh, creating a film, they want to express their vision of the world, express their own personal feelings. Armand White, a film critic that was born in the 1950s in Detroit, has had a controversial tale with the use of his pen. Armand White has written for New York Press, National Review, and was even kicked out of the New York Critic Association. However, once we get past all the talk about Armand White, we find that he has found that he could use his pen in a way to create art with his critiques. Mr. White had found the auteur theory. In many of Mr. White's critiques, he discusses how the director's vision of the film was to take place. In 2014, White wrote for a critique for the film Black or White. Writer-director Mike Binder contrives trial scenes with an Oprah-like judge and a subplot about Rowena's son Reggie, Andre Holland, the junkie who changed Elliot's family structure then failed his duties as both son and father. But these scenes are not totally conventional. There's a complex Jacksonian ethic to Rowena's warm matriarchal family life. When she brings Eloise's cousins for a pool party at Elliot's mansion, it idealizes the public pool controversy of Terrence Howard's fact-based civil rights film, Pride, juxtaposed with Elliot's law team strategy. Armand White brings up the director's vision in many of his critiques. In his Fifty Shades of Grey critique for National Review, White stated, Strangely, it doesn't help that Fifty Shades was directed by a woman, Sam Taylor Johnson, a devious faux feminist strategy. Taylor Johnson seems unable to apply sensitivity. She acquiesces to franchise rom-com formula, forsaking her proven skill in portrait photography. The film is as non-sensual as the muted red walls of Grey's s and playroom. In order to match the naivety of her wimpy, incurious heroine and cold, wounded hero, the only thing pure about this Bronte-Austin-Hardy mashup is its Hollywood cynicism. Armand White uses the auteur theory to tear down directors. He describes in his critiques what he thinks the directors are trying to accomplish and why what they did was wrong. In The Long Climb to Civilization, Five Flights Up, Mr. White wrote that director Richard Longcrane and writer Charlie Peters work in familiar territory. The kind of New York film playwright Neil Simon once specialized in about comic city tensions, the out-of-towners prisoner of Second Avenue, or even those parochial Woody Allen movies that laid claim to an image of bourgeoisie white ethnic New York. Armand, welcome. Thank you for being here. Happy to be here, Mike. Thank you. All right, so here's the, I'm going to get right to it. The reports have been I that when Steve McQueen came to the podium to accept his award, that you yelled out all kinds of things that he's a doorman and he's a garbage man and F you and things like that. Did this happen? Did you say that? No. While his opinions may not be as popular as his peers, it is irrefutable made his voice heard by providing a unique and polarizing viewpoint. 